So now in this video we're going to use LEDs to look at basic electronic principles again. So I've done similar videos but uh, most people probably haven't seen them. In any case we will uh, come back to the diagram in a little bit. These are green LEDs and by the way these are new LEDs. I just took them out of the container. This is the first time I'm using them for this uh, video. And uh, that's because as you use LEDs and abuse them and stuff they don't get as bright. So these should all have the same brightness once they have the same amount of current going through them. So there's the lone LED there and at 3 volts there you can see it started lighting up. We got two in series over there that start lighting up at about 5 volts. That's because at uh, low current they do start conducting a little bit at about 2.5 uh, volts each for a total of 5. But uh, as current goes up they start dropping uh, more voltage. So there you can see seven. These aren't uh, very bright, but a little current is trickling through. As we raise the voltage, more is going through. So they may look about the same brightness, but they're actually all passing the same amount of current when we get to 12 volts. So I did the calculation. It should be nine milliamps each. That's what I shot for when I uh, designed these circuits. Again, we'll look at the diagram in a little bit. So it should be about uh, 0 0.027 for 27 milliamps. And there you can see we're really close. If I yank uh, one of these out, you can see we get to uh, 18 milliamps. Put it back. That one, again, about 18. Again, this isn't as accurate as a multimeter, but it's good enough for the purposes of this video right there. So you can see they're all passing about the same amount of current. And here we got the diagram. These uh, should be more black, but for some reason my printer is not giving me black at the moment. Here is the uh, single LED. Remember the long lead, the anode has to be more positive, short lead, the cathode more negative. And uh, with 12 volts, one LED that drops 3 volts, that'll leave 9 volts across a 1000 ohm resistor. That's what I'm using on the board. So 9 volts divided by 1000 ohms, you get 0 0.009 amps of current, 9 milliamps of current. So I wanted that with these other two uh, sets of LEDs. So there's two in series there, three in series there. So what we do is we take the voltage that will be across the resistor. So it's 12 volts, but we're dropping three and then three again, we're dropping six volts total. Remember, it took almost six volts before it started conducting at all. And uh, when we got the nine milliamps of current going through it, they probably were really close to three volts there. So in any case, that leaves uh, six volts. So going across the resistor. So I did the calculation and we should use a 666.66 forever uh, ohm resistor, but I just rounded it to 667. My closest value I have is 680. So really not that far off. And uh, so we should have got really close to nine milliamps of current. Now, when it came to the three in series, same process. So we got nine volts of drop right now. Each one of these LEDs is gonna drop about nine volts, leaving three volts across the uh, resistor. So if we don't know the value yet, we're gonna have three volts across the resistor. We want 0 0.009 amps, nine milliamps of current. And so when we do the calculation, three volts divided by the current we desire, we get the resistance that we're gonna to wanna to use. 333, again, I have a close value, 330. That's why we had the uh, close to the same amount of current through all three of these circuits there. Hopefully that makes sense. I wrote the note there that green LEDs typically drop uh, three volts. When you look at a data sheet or other books, a lot of times they got voltage and then a little f for forward to indicate uh, forward voltage. And then they'll usually list you the uh, forward voltage you can expect. That's also the voltage that is dropped. So now let's measure the uh, voltage. So all I have to do is set it to voltage for this meter. Don't have to move the uh, red probe and it's auto ranging. If it's not auto ranging, you set it to a uh, setting higher than the voltage you can expect. But like I said, we don't have to worry about that. So we should have 12 volts at the supply right there. And there you can see we're pretty close. It's probably dropping a little bit due to resistance in the wires and stuff. Now we're gonna measure the voltage across the LED. There you can see it's a little shy of uh, three volts. So across the uh, resistor here, we should have about nine. So a little bit shy of nine. And then we'll go to the two and look at the uh, same thing right there. There you can see we got a little shy of 12. 
and uh, the LEDs are blinding me a bit. So three volts across that one, across the two of them, there's uh, six right there, and uh, they add up pretty straightforward. And uh, there you can see six across the resistor, as I said before. And then so it should be no surprise, we got 12 across that uh, entire circuit there, and three across uh, just the one of them, and then six across two of them, and then again I'm getting blinded. Uh, we got about nine across the three of them. And before I said nine volts across each of them, I meant nine volts across all three of them. Three times three is nine. So we got three volts across the uh, resistor right there, and you can see that. So not perfect, but uh, it's close. And now we will measure current. So the current we're gonna measure is in milliamps, as we saw before. Again, set it to higher than you can expect, but uh, this is auto ranging. So all I have to do is set it to uh, milliamps. If it has numbers as well, make sure it's a number in milliamps that is higher. We can go anywhere to ground, doesn't matter right now. That's where I opened up the circuit. You have to complete the circuit that's not connected to that LED through the uh, meter. And because current runs, the same through the uh, power supply is off. Current runs the same through series components. All of them have to pass the same current. There's just one path. So there you can see we're a little bit shy of uh, 9 milliamps. I can just leave the uh, black probe there. And again, a little bit shy of 9 milliamps. And then we're going to complete this one and a little bit shy there. So a little bit uh, higher. But for the most part, they have about the same amount of current. It looks like they're passing a little bit more as the LEDs warm up. That's one thing with semiconductors. A lot of times they conduct better as they heat up. That what that is what leads to thermal runaway. If nothing controls it, in this case, uh, as they start passing more current, more voltage goes across the resistor, it starts working to limit current even more. But if they don't have something to limit the current, they just keep getting warmer, passing more current, until they get too hot and burn out. That's thermal runaway. Always turn the multimeter off when you're done. And I'll go back to uh, showing the uh, schematic that I put together there. Well, I end the video. So thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting to the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.